Hi, I wanted to do a review of this excellent uh, mini screwdriver set here. Um, this includes a lot, and unlike a lot of the other ones, this guy here is in a tool roll setup. Um, and it's also a really nice tool roll on top of that. So normally when you get these, just the first thing you'll notice with this one is it's not coming in one of those like square little, you know, boxes where everything just can get shuffled around. They can accidentally open and stuff like that. And then everything's gone everywhere. Or even sometimes they'll just come with like loose strips of the uh, mini screwdrivers um, sockets and stuff. So uh, this one, everything is extremely organized in. And I'll show you that here. So when you open it up, it's all very organized. These aren't sitting loose. Uh, these are actually literally built into the thing. They're sewn in, so those aren't going anywhere. Um, on the tops, there are covers so that, you know, it is a tool roll, and if you've used them, the biggest issue is you could have something come out the side. But on the side where they can do that, it's covered on all of these. And this thing has quite a few little tools in here with it. So I'll start from this side over. You have um, these plastic pries. They're basically like guitar picks, maybe a bit bigger than that. Um, but they're nice little non-marring plastic pries and they give you a bunch of them. I mean, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them they're giving you. It's probably more than you're ever gonna need. Uh, realistically, unless you're doing work a lot like I do. Um, gives you a little cleaning cloth. Um, I don't know if you've ever taken apart like a Switch controller or something, or Xbox controller or something, but stuff gets a little grimy in there, so having a cloth to clean it is pretty nice. And they give you a little uh, magnetic uh, screw organizer, that way you can kind of keep track of things. Uh, it is white, so you can write on it if you needed to. It uh, feels kind of like a surface that maybe, uh, you know, a dry erase marker might come off of pretty easy. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but, uh, you know, that, that is kind of a handy thing to have. Working over here, we've got a magnetizer demagnetizer. They're really easy to use. You're basically just going to pass the pieces through or above them. Um, there's a lot of good videos online on how to use these things. They're pretty simple um, and work pretty well. You have the screwdriver right here. Um, it's a little tight in there, but those do loosen themselves up over time. Um, the screwdriver itself looks pretty simple. It's got a rotating back, which is nice because you can kind of put some force into it and rotate it. And this actually extends and comes out. So um, you can actually extend that further if you needed to reach something uh, deeper in. They like to tuck a lot of these little screws really deep into the device. Uh, it is fairly low profile too, so uh, you probably won't have too much of an issue uh, with it getting uh, jammed up uh, unless you have just really low tolerances on your thing. Then you're probably going to have to get um, like a dedicated screwdriver for that. But this is a screwdriver that should work for most items. Um, I'll leave that out here. Uh, working over here, we got a lot of flathead. You've got a lot of star, so flathead goes from a 2.5 all the way up to a 4.0. The star goes from a 0.8 up to a 2.0. You have uh, Allen keys. They go from a 0.7 all the way up to, let's see, we got a 6.0 over here. You've got uh, triangles, 2 to 2.7. Sorry, 2 to uh, 3.0. I uh, don't know the name for these, um, but you've got these guys in three different sizes as well. Uh, those come from a 2.3 up to an, uh, 2.3, a 2.6, and an 8. You've got squares. They go from uh, 0 to a 2. You've got circles. Um, those There's just one size of those here. Uh, you've got MIDs, which are basically uh, Phillips, but they've got a little point sticking up from them. Uh, you got two of those as well. You've got uh, other kinds of flatheads, and then you've got sockets here. On your sockets, you're going from a 2.5 all the way up to a 4.5. Uh, and then you have a reverse Phillips here. And then you have a 
uh, large uh, one uh, one quarter to four hex. Coming over to the next set here, you're going to have uh, more Phillips. Now these Phillips go from really tiny of the uh, four odd or four zero uh, Phillips, and those go all the way up to uh, number two Phillips. You have uh, the very tiny Torx one all the way up to a Torx 20. And then you have a security Torx starting from a five all the way through a 25. Um, you have more types of Phillips here. These are a, a different kind of Phillips again. Um, these go from a, a three zero all the way up to a two. Then you have a uh, the triangle bit that you would need for like PlayStation controllers here. You have that from a 0.6 all the way up to a three. And then you have some very tiny flatheads, uh, 1.0s all the way up to 2.0. So those things are very small if you've ever seen those, um, just incredibly small. So. When you get over here, you have a suction cup up here, and on the suction cup, you have a SIM card key uh, to access those little tiny compartments on your phone where they store the SIM cards. Um, that's conveniently secured by the suction cup, and you're not going to lose that too easy, which is nice because those are real easy to lose. Uh, you have two of these nylon pries. Once again, these are non-marring nylon pries. Um, those are good for like uh, getting into a switch controller or like a, you know, something where you have to actually pry the controller open as well as take out the screws. You have uh, you have these the needle nose. Uh, uh, I'm losing the word here, but you have a set of needle nose tweezers. There we go. Um, so you can uh, pick up small parts or even use it as a scraping tool to, you know, remove some grime and stuff, so that's pretty nice. Um, you have a brush as well. Once again, grime's a big issue when you start getting into taking apart uh, used electronics and stuff like that to repair them. There's a lot of grime and stuff. You can dust it or remove grime that way. You have a an attachment for the uh, driver that is bendable. And so, as you can see here, I can turn that and it turns on the head. So you can get the, uh, you can drive stuff that is in a place where this is too long for it. You also have a nylon pick uh, here. Once again, uh, grime, but this is going to be a non-marring version of that. Uh, it's got a wire puller and a pry as well. And you've got a larger pry here as well. It's uh, larger on this end and even larger on this end here. You can use those as scrapers or pries. And now you have a metal pry for, you know, when you need to brute force something open more. Uh, you've got one of those. Uh, these can be bent uh, if you need to. You just grab a set of pliers and bend them into the direction you want them to be in. They only bend so many times though, so careful when you're doing that. But really nice organized set. These things come in handy all the time uh, if you need to get into game controllers, if you need to take apart computers. Uh, the screwdrivers actually get big enough on here, like the two will work on most Phillips screws. Um, uh, the flathead, obviously, it also gets uh, reasonably large here, and that should work on most uh, flathead screws. Having a good set of security torques, this is a wide range of security torques, so that's always really nice. Um, uh, most of your most of your controllers and stuff like that, most of your electronic devices that they don't want you to get into are going to use uh, security torques bits to prevent you from accessing places. And having a good set of those is really nice outside. I mean, heck, you can get a set of security torques that's almost as much as this um, entire setup here. So, you know, really good value here for what they're charging you for. It's pretty nice. So, uh, as I said, one of my favorite features of this particular one, because you can find sets with a comparable amount of items, but this is the only one that I've seen in the tool roll uh, case, and it's just, it's really nice. Uh, it's a well-built case and everything. It's got a good, uh, 
it's really what just sets this apart from all the rest. Um, everything in this seems like it's up to par with all those other uh, sets that I've seen in the past too. So uh, if you are looking for one of these, these are incredibly useful little tool sets and having it in this tool roll function, it just makes it really easy to keep things organized. It's nice and packable. It comes with a little handle even to you know, hang it from somewhere if you maybe have a pegboard set up or something. So highly recommend this tool set. Um, excellent little piece of equipment here. And, you know, hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching.